At one time, Hurricane Harvey and the catastrophic flooding it's caused would have been referred to as the storm of a century. But Texas has increasingly bore the brunt of floods and more intense weather, something many scientists are linking to global warming. In Houston, there's also concern about where homes are built and what lessons can be learned. And you see green everywhere you look. You see permeable surface, which you don't see in other places. Evelyn Metz says if city planners don't rethink how they develop neighborhoods, the consequences could be dire. This is a drastic storm. And how many drastic storms do you want to have before you actually take action that will actually improve the situation? At some point, either you basically should accept the consequences because you don't want to change, or you make the change. Many communities here are built in low-laying floodplains, and as the city's grown, its natural defenses have been compromised. One of the biggest challenges Houston faces is the overdevelopment of green spaces that essentially act as giant natural sponges. This bayou was developed with that very thing in mind, and consequently, the surrounding neighborhood didn't flood. But some in the environmental community say talking about climate change or flood resistance can be a difficult subject. Well, we saw it here in Houston. Activist Rachel Power says in Texas, those in power, Anto is keen to talk about what's seen by some as a political issue. Just ignore climate change as part of the conversation and just say that flooding and catastrophe are things that we need to deal with. But we don't necessarily talk openly about climate change and the, the effects on these storms, which can only make things worse. It may be years before Houston fully recovers and the damage will run into billions of dollars. Jim Blackburn says it's now time to address climate change and make some tough decisions. Right now what we can do is be very uh, careful about rebuilding. I think we need to push the option of buying out houses that are deep in the floodplains and have flooded before and will likely flood again and begin to evacuate the highest risk areas. Environmentalists say Houston has the chance to set an example to the rest of the world and rebuild with climate change in mind. If it doesn't, the next storm may do even more damage. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Houston, Texas.